the Divine Mercy Chaplet with Meditations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I I trust trust in you. you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I I trust trust in you. you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I I trust trust in you. you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this this day our daily daily bread, bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Jesus came with his disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. A heavy weight of sorrow and distress falls upon Jesus. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the whole world. His agony is so great that his sweat becomes like drops of blood. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us and on the whole world. He prays fervently to the Father, asking that this cup be removed from him. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the whole world. world. Having prayed three times and bathed in a sweat of blood, Jesus watches as his betrayer Judas approaches with an angry mob. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the the whole world. world. He describes the sorrow of his soul as even unto death. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the the whole world. world. He submits to his Father's will, and hands himself over to be arrested. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us and on the whole world. All of his disciples desert him and run away. Jesus is left to fend for himself. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the whole world. world. The guards seize Jesus, bind him, and bring him to the Jewish leaders and high priests, where they condemn Jesus as liable to death. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the whole world. Like furious lions, they surround Jesus and torment him with thousands of insults, spits, lacerations, and blows. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the whole world. world. He is then thrown into a cold, dark holding cell, where he spends the rest of the night until morning, when they bring him to the Sanhedrin. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have Have mercy mercy on us us and on the whole world. world. Eternal Father, 
I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, atonement for, for our sins and those of the whole world. The next morning, Pontius Pilate hands Jesus over to the Roman soldiers, who readily execute their cruelest punishments upon Jesus, who they consider to be an insurrectionist. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on, on us and on, on the whole world. world. The blows and strikes delivered to Jesus leaves his face bruised, broken, and disfigured. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Though Jesus is harshly treated, he remains silent and opens not his mouth. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep silent before the shearers, he does not open his mouth. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus is then stripped of his clothes, his hands bound to the pillar, and is severely scourged with the Roman scourging whip. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The scourging whip used on Jesus has small iron balls and sharp sheep bones attached to it. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The blows from the iron balls inflicts excruciating pain and bruising to his body, while the sheep bones tear away small pieces of his flesh. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. After scourging his back, shoulders, and lower extremities on his body, the Roman soldiers turn Jesus around and do the same to his front side. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. When finished, the body of Christ is completely ravaged. Open wounds, gashes, and stripes cover his entire bloodied body. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The pillar and the ground beneath where he was scourged are completely covered with his blood. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, atonement for, for our sins and those of the whole world. With sneers, mockery, and laughter, the soldiers put a purple cloak on Jesus and press it against his severely wounded body. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on, us and on the whole world. world. The texture of cloak further irritates the open wounds, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The soldiers wove a crown of thorns and place it on his head. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. They use a stick to press down on the crown so that the thorns deeply embed into Jesus' head. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Streams of blood flow over the face of Jesus as the thorns press against his skull. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The soldiers place a reed in his right hand. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. They kneel before him and mock him saying, Hail, King of the Jews! For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. They take the reed and strike him repeatedly over the head. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. They spit upon him and pluck at his beard. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The wounds on Jesus are further ripped apart, 
as the Roman soldiers tear away the purple cloak from his body and put his own clothes back on him. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on, on us and, and on, on the whole world. world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. At the urging of the chief priests and officers, Pontius Pilate orders Jesus to be crucified. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus takes the cross and begins the journey to Golgotha. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. He is forced to walk barefoot on the rough and dusty road and is pulled with ropes by the soldiers to hurry him. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Weakened by so much trauma, Jesus struggles to find the strength needed to carry his cross. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The crowds on both sides hurl insults, stones, and other objects at him. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The body of Jesus enters into shock from having lost a large amount of blood. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Three times he falls during the journey, being crushed each time under the weight of the cross. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. With each fall, the guards and crowds move in to further assault and harass Jesus. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Splinters from the wood of the cross drive deep into his shoulder, which is already bruised and torn from the scourging. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. To expedite the journey, the soldiers recruit Simon of Cyrene from the crowd to help Jesus finish the journey to Golgotha. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Before being laid down to be crucified, Jesus is offered wine mixed with gall, a mild anesthesia, but he refuses to take it. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. He is then roughly thrown to the ground and positioned on the cross to be crucified. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. With indescribable cruelty, his arms and legs are stretched on the cross, pulled from all sides, dislocating his limbs. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. A heavy square iron nail is driven through each of his hands and deep into the wood of the cross. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. His left foot is then positioned against the top of his right foot, and with both feet extended, toes down, a nail is driven through the arch of each. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. As the cross is raised and positioned upward, the weight of Jesus' body on the nails through his hands sends excruciating pain throughout the nerves in his arms and body. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In order to take a breath of air, Jesus needs to lift his body up by pushing his weight down on his nailed feet. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Hung naked and exposed, those passing by Jesus revile him, while the guards cast lots for his clothes. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Turned away by his father, Jesus cries out, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy mercy on us and on the whole world. After three hours on the cross, Jesus announces it is finished and dies. A soldier pierces his side with a lance, and a stream of blood and water gushes out. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, Have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.